Recently, BioVet.net in Atlanta, Georgia had the opportunity to spend a fabulous weekend in Indianapolis, Indiana at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as a part of the Bloomington Gold USA Corvette Show. And this actually is the granddaddy of all Corvette shows. And with us right here is Greg Rush, founder and CEO of of the Biovet and Greg, uh, first of all, this is every bit of what they say. This is a fantastic show, isn't it? Rick, this has turned out better than I have ever had imagined. The show has been held at different places in uh, going back many years, but last year they moved the Bloomington Gold Corvette USA show to the Indianapolis racetrack. And in the center of the beautiful uh, track, is all these buildings that are used for uh, cars during the races, pit crews and all. And so the show was in the infield and that infield is monstrous. There was thousands of Corvettes owners that drove their Corvettes there. And uh, th this past June, uh, that was the 20, something like the 25th and 26th, I believe. It was the second year, and I got to tell you, that show is now going to grow exponentially. It is absolutely so many vendors, they're judging. People are just having a wonderful time. That's great. And you're looking at some beautiful video shot by Biovet's Jack Stanford here uh, right now. He did a great job with the video. But, you know, you, you mentioned people go to see all these fabulous Corvettes and all of the vendors, but it's a fabulous thing to be able to be at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I've lived 70 miles from there and that's something that people who are there don't even get to do very often. That's so true, Rick. And uh, just a couple of the uh, uh, events that were going on, you could actually get in line and drive around the track. It was, uh, they had a pace car leading it, but everybody that wanted to drive on the famous Indianapolis 500 racetrack could. And uh, I saw people out there kissing the brick strip that's across the, uh, okay, I admit, I got down on my knees and I kissed it last year. And somebody took a picture of Jack and I acting like we were going to race. But of course, at my age, there's no way I could ever keep up with Jack. But uh, it, was a, it was absolutely a lot of fun. And then there was a road course uh, they had coned off and uh, people could uh, just go out there and do laps on the road course and you know some of the cars sliding around the turns and stuff like that that was exciting okay now we said this is the granddaddy of all the corvette shows but people come from all over the country they do they do their other fabulous show is of course carlisle and uh, chip miller and uh, a friend of mine he, he just pulls off a great show and uh, i'm not a hundred percent sure I think he has bought the Bloomington, but I don't want to hold that to you because I, I haven't talked to him about it. And that's kind of, hasn't been publicized a lot. But anyway, he is a, a great person. He and his father are, are legends in the Corvette uh, business and going back to the 60s, 70s when they had the shows up there in uh, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. But, both shows I highly recommend people going to, but this particular one, we're talking about Bloomington, to go and be in, inside the racetrack and get to drive on the racetrack and everybody's so friendly. You know, Corvette owners, they they just consider everybody a friend, you know, and that's just the way it is. People are talking to each other, introducing each other. And then we have a booth that uh, we offer free phone charging. We got comfortable sofas and chairs, leather chairs for people just to come in and help themselves to the cooler for some cold water and just socialize. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. And you know, uh, Biovet has had a booth that's in kind of a, a, a special place because you're kind of right down there under what they call the pagoda, which is the uh, the tower that, that all the action happens. That's true. The front of it opens up to where people are walking and uh, looking at the uh, different exhibitors. And then the back of our uh, big, tw uh, I think it's about 40 feet by 60 feet. That's actually where they were working on race cars. That opens up right onto the track. So it's it's a really a neat place to be. And, and you can hear out of the back of our booth all the Corvettes running around the racetrack all day long. So Okay. And you know, but but to travel up there is about a 550 mile trip. I do it a lot. So, uh, <laughs> But uh, it's that important for Biovet to be a part of. of Absolutely. We attend all the shows and uh, we learn so much just talking to uh, people that do uh, professional restorations of 
of Corvettes and uh, parts availabilities for the older ones and the suppliers for a lot of parts in the industry. We, 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 it's just a learning experience. And you probably get to revisit with some of your uh customers that you have. Oh, absolutely. So many customers are coming by and they say, hey, I bought a Corvette from Bayouvet and you delivered it in my driveway and, and I live upstate Wisconsin. And, you know, I just love that car and I'm on your website every day. Rick, that gives me a, a great pleasure. And then they speak so highly of the people down here and it's the people that buy a vet that has made buy a vet. Some of these guys have been here 14 years or more, the mechanics, uh, three of them have been uh, 12, 13 and 14 years with us, and salesmen, some of them have been 14 years. So it, we, we're a family of Corvette geeks, I'd say. Right, and on that note, I tell a lot of my friends uh, around the country when they see that we post videos uh, from Garrett Biovet that, that, you know, these guys who work here, yeah, it's their business to sell cars, but these are Corvette enthusiasts, and these are some of the most knowledgeable salesmen of Corvettes that you'll find anywhere in the country. Wow, well, thank you for saying that. I hear that quite often from different people. We sell so many Corvettes sight unseen, and the last thing we want somebody to do is to have an issue that we didn't tell them up front. So we try our very best, and it's very rare anybody calls and says, oh, you kind of missed this, you know, this got the wrong uh, hose or whatever. But all our Corvettes are put through full service and of course our famous two-year warranty. And uh, so anyway, we do get a lot of compliments at the show and that's what makes it so much fun. Well, I wish this was at by a vet. Here at Bloomington, this is a 1953, the first year of the Corvette. And as we all know, the first year of the Corvette was any color you want, as long as it was white with a red interior. This particular one is number 280, has the blue fame six, and an absolutely gorgeous shape, as you can see. Beautiful white walls, our chrome is in great shape. We'll notice in the uh, 53 had the real interesting headlight and in 53 at the Waldorf Astoria when this debuted, that was one of the unique features. The great teeth. And this car is just absolutely beautiful shape. Interior is in excellent shape on this car as well. You just don't see them like this. If you ever get a chance in a museum, at the Corvette Museum, or at one of these fine shows, you get to see the history of the car we all love to drive. And welcome back. We just keep seeing cars we gotta talk about here. This is actually a 54. So we saw the 53, and now the 54, still with the Blue Flame 6. And this gorgeous car actually only missed five points on a Bloomington Gold, which is really, really hard to do. And when we get to the back, I'll show you what three of those points were. As you can see, this car is just in absolutely gorgeous shape. And some of the fun you can have seeing some of the past history of Corvette at Bloomington Gold. As we make our way to the back, I do want to point out what three points at a Bloomington Gold takes off. The pitting right around the exhaust pipe, three points off. So, very near a perfect car. 